Okay, this is take two of the first pandemic library video blog, known as a blog, right? And since we're in a pandemic, we need to be socially distanced, which means I should be six feet away. What I don't know, of course, is whether you'll be able to hear me from this distance. So I'm going to check that and then I'll come and zoom in to a little bit closer position. Hang on just a sec. Well, it's 1025, Monday morning, April 6th, first day back from spring break. And in normal circumstances, it would be almost time for half of the 7th and 8th graders to find a good excuse, or even a bad excuse, any kind of excuse to get out of advisory so that they can come down to the library and check whatever it is they check on their phones. Messages, make a TikTok video, hang out with their friends, all that good stuff. But instead, well, lots of books, no students. Nobody to say shh at. It's kind of strange, folks. But what we do have are four different stacks of books for people who have decided to take advantage of the pandemic curbside library book pickup. That's right. You can check out a book. Just look at uh, today's e-news for the details. But basically, you check it out. And there are times Monday through Thursday, Friday by a special appointment, if you're desperate enough, where you can email me ahead of time. I'll see if the book you want is here after you check the catalog. And then you can stop by and pick it up. We'll have a table outside. Maybe I'll hand it out with like a snow shovel or something so that we maintain social distancing at all costs. Okay. So I have never made a video before, or a movie, but it's a little bit after 11. And I just spent half an hour or more learning that Adobe Spark won't work for editing video, at least not easily, unless your clips are under 30 seconds. So remember that. So it's time for me to take a walk. Looking at old buses here, the old football field. It's a little bit breezy, so that can make the video a problem. Check in later. Gotta call my sister. Okay, so I talked to my sister. She lives in Greeley, Colorado. And like everybody else, works from home, although she's been working from home for a while. So we talked about gardening. She's good at gardening and transplanting, and I am not. So for much of the pandemic, I've been walking like one hour, two hours, sometimes three hours a day, and uh, which is something I can't normally do on a Monday at this time, but there it is. So I'm going to get a few more clips together, and then I'm going to edit them, or try to. Okay, so I'm still walking. Well, obviously. So I think I have the first library challenge ready. So, imagine that you live in a time when people have to stay home because there's a pandemic sweeping the land, a dangerous virus. Oh, wait a minute, you don't have to pretend. You can do some history. You can be 30, 40, 45 years from now when you're about my age almost then you can look back on your original source material, maybe a journal you've kept, or a video log, or a vlog, or a blog, or some kind of record. Maybe you could draw, maybe you could paint, maybe you could gather images. What did you do during the shutdown, during the pandemic? What occupied your time? What did you think about? All that good stuff. So I'm going to send out an invite on Google Classroom once I've got everybody entered. That's only about 430 of you or so. And those of you who decide to accept the challenge can post your images and stories there. So 
that's number one. An ongoing invitation, which is not a challenge, but really a plea, because this is kind of a pitiful video. Make your own library videos. Submit one, maybe, that I could use for the library for good books to read. Or the first challenge you're working on. Because if it's all about me, well, that's just going to be kind of dull, folks. I want to hear your stories. Okay, send them in. I'll be in touch. Bye. Well, a good conversation with my sister.